but nobody knows the future that what will happen tomorrow maybe month five years 10 years nobody knows that so you cannot think about future that this will happen so i would start not focusing right now so your your task is to focus at this moment learn it whatever will happen in the future let's face it okay we all are on the same boat someone is ahead someone is back but we all are on the same boat so the most of this noise you will find in the lower level not in the high level if you are working in a company and fixing a button you are irreplaceable you are not bringing any value to the company you are a liability on the company then why anybody bear you cost so think in that way think in that way be valuable employ we will be a person in the company you will be there nobody going to replace you trust me but you have to learn these tools that how you can utilize it in your day to day tasks it will help you to give you idea it will help you to give you better direction that how you can plan your architecture of the project which you are building so you can test test don't be scared learn about it learn about it we have multiple project on our channel close to 35 project we have how many project you have built how many of you actually even have the portfolio i ask a lot of you to send me the portfolio but none of you have sent me means you don't have it and you expect that you will get a job and you talk about this ai models you are not working on yourself try to be honest to yourself if you be honest you will find the answer of every single thing and you're not going to waste your time watching this reels where the guy is dancing and then talking about the callback in the react that's a waste of time nobody will learn anything from watching a 30 seconds reel and 15 second reel instagram is for entertainment for news it's not for learning if you want to learn coding you have to give time 3 to 4 hours every single day dedicatedly that's how you going to remember if i tell you the code show you the code that this is how it work when you going to write it's totally different thing that's how it felt very first time i watched the video i see oh, it's very easy i can declare a variable but when i started writing everything was gone from my head so this coding watching this code reels will not help you at all you are just becoming an audience and they are making money so that's the new way of attracting and keeping the user engaged and the more controversy the more viral thing you talk about it which people are not used to it in that way they will get view and more that's why this is the tax they are applying so you have to be a little analytical try to understand what exactly happening which industry is getting more impacted because if you look at the chat gpt model it can do a lot of things analytical part image generation a lot of things so you have to understand that how you can utilize that ai model in your project how you can facilitate your user your clients in more efficient way so that's you should be your strategy okay so don't try to waste your time watching reels those coding and dancing video will not help you a lot i have seen these things recently a lot in the indian youtubers or you can call a tiktoker or a insta tiktoker <laughs> like they are talking about a syntax and they are dancing you will see you have seen a, i hope you guys have seen those video and that's not going to help you at all i'm not here to criticize anyone but that's my point of view that's not how learning happened you will be the you, you will be an audience you will be entertain yourself but at the end of the time when you sit for the company they're going to ask you the real question they're not going to ask you that how many reels you have watch and how many variables you have if you have something concrete to prove means you have to build a complete project how many of you have built complete project none of you have built complete project so build that's what you will show in your interview otherwise you are wasting your time trust me you are wasting your time so don't try to be on these things try to give your time on those places where you can get something out of it that should be your mindset and that way what will happen no matter what you will do like you always going to get the benefit out of it so try to take something out of it when you have the access of the tools and the technology you have to master it you have to utilize it to make it more proficient in your work don't just get used by other so just think about it think about it all of you welcome back to yet another video in this video we'll try to understand that what exactly happening in the development world at this particular moment i hope you guys have seen the recent update in the llm model whether you talk about gemini whether you talk about chat gtp 4.0 and the kind of capability it has bring into the model a lot of professionals are scared so if you are a developer you don't need to worry about only about yourself is going to create a huge disruption in all the industry and that's what we're going to talk about it because i'm been in the industry and i work with a client and i have seen the changes that are happening in the industry whether you talk about the development whether you talk about the other product because when you going to launch any product when you going to build any product coding is a one segment there are multiple multiple layers which we have to follow to build any product and to build any business out of it so that's all we going to understand and why this particular hype is getting created and who exactly creating this hype so been in the industry what i have seen when i have talked to my fellow developer who has been in the industry for last decade or 7 8 years it's like after talking to them what i have realized that they are not worried about that much about this a model they are using as a assistance 
But if you look at the grass label, that why still this AI models are getting so high? Definitely, they are good enough to do the basic tasks. Even in future, maybe right now, I don't think that is going to build end-to-end -end product. So right now, it's still we need human assistant to build any kind of product. But it's can able to do the smaller tasks. Like you can see that how how big disruption is going to bring in the in the call center industry. You're going to see it's going to create a huge impact when it's come to photographic graphic designer. A model can deliver in a better way. You have seen the examples that how beautifully and perfectly the images are getting created. So you have to understand one thing that who exactly creating this hype. So this hype, this so much tensions are getting created in the root level, not on the top level. In the top level, they are utilizing it and they're including in the system to build a better product. So this, this exacerbation is happening in the root level. And who exactly creating that? I'm going to give you the example related to development, but this exactly happening in every single segment of the industry. Communication, marketing, development, research, in all the segments, you are having the same scenario. So when it's come to development, what I have noticed is that those are the beginner developer who just started this learning the technology, whether you talk about learning JavaScript, blockchain development, backend development, they are the ones who are so worried about it. They are the ones so worried about it. They are not focusing on their skills. Like definitely, if you are be like naive, so if you're not good enough, then why anybody would take you? That's the first thing you have to understand because you can see this AI model can generate the boilerplate. You can utilize it in your project. Earlier, I need four to five members to develop any product where they talk about the backend, where they talk about the architecture, where they talk about the graphic design, where they talk about the UI component or writing the boilerplate code, which I'm going to include in the project. Right now, I'm doing the entire task using this AI model. So earlier, I needed four to five members to work on a single project, but right now I'm doing it with two or three members. They're generating the boilerplate and we're utilizing into our system and building on top of that. So we don't need extra members to do the basic tasks, which we are doing with this AI model. So you have to understand that if you are replaceable, if you are doing a mediocre work, then definitely you will be displaceable. And that's why you will see there is so much tension is happening in the lower level. So if you look at the company, there is a hierarchy. Like we have the top management, then we have the second layer, then we have third layer, depending on the company size, we have multiple layer. So if you talk about a small group of team, as a development point of view, there are, there are multiple. Once work in the security, once work in the design, once work in the marketing, once work in the back and front end, so depending on the application, depending on the size. So multiple there. So if someone's telling me to write a simple documentation of the application, so instead of giving and hiring an intern, I can simply give that entire code to the AI model and that's going to generate me the boilerplate. So there, there is one job gone. Because this is how I got into the industry. So when I got started at that point of time, I was very lucky that I get into the startup and they gave me the work as a as a document creator. So the the senior developer was writing the code and I was the one who's reviewing, not reviewing. I was just creating the document. These are the function, these are the variable which we have included into the function. And that's what I have to transfer to the client. So he can know that what are the things are included into the smart contract. And this is what I was doing. And I'm really glad that I did those work because when I was doing all of that, I learned more about the solid programming language and how things are happening into the contract, how we can build a better performance, well, smart contract or scalable up smart contract. So this is how I learned during the entire period. And that's how I learned the solid program language. To be honest, that's how I learned. But if you look at the in 2024, these are the basic stocks. Like a developer don't need this a junior developer who can create a documentation right now there is an ai model we have we can simply give our code and it's going to generate the entire documentation side by side so you can see and you can do the editing lower level and everybody is giving you this bold statement that ai is going to replace completely nobody know even they don't know they are just telling you this to get that extra click get that extra view so you have to understand that who is telling you why they are talking about it because sometimes these ai models are releasing something and everybody's making video on top of that because that's the hot topic right now and they're making videos and they're just telling whatever they want and they're not making any sense to be honest they're just doing it for view like and they want to keep your attention on their video so they talk about like unnecessary thing unnecessary thing to be honest like you will see they are making a lot of videos but when you talk about the actual who is working in the industry in a good position in a good company they will tell you the stuff most of these things are you will find that that i was working in this company i left the company and now i'm doing this so they will talk about this and that so you have to be a little smart. Don't try to be a uh, follower, blind follower. Whatever you are learning, focus on that. If you be good in that, nobody going to replace you. Trust me. So if you be a replaceable item, then definitely someone will take your positions and you will be replaceable in case of AI. So if not human, then AI will take it. If you do a basic work, then why anybody would hire you? So if you really think you are good enough, then answer this question honestly. If you are starting a startup at this moment, would you hire yourself? answer this so if you say yes then you are ready 
But if you have a little bit doubt, then means you are not ready to get into the company. That's the straight and forward answer. So don't need to get into this trap in this AI models. Everybody's talking so and so. I got a lot of emails, a lot of messages, and a lot of things you guys ask before you start learning. You say, I'm, I'm planning to learn blockchain development, but this AI can do a lot of work. Should I learn? What should I do? Don't be confused. Pick a technology which you are interested in and be good. Be good. If you're good enough, you will be respected. You will be hired. Right now, we have big tech companies. If you talk about the blockchain, we have chain link, open something, big companies we have. They still have developers. So you have to be a little smart. You have to be a little smart that who's creating this hype, where this entire AI model and industries are going. It's going to be a very good assistance, personal assistant, I would say. And it's able to do the smaller tasks very easily. But right now, I don't look at as a capable enough to build an end-to-end -end product because when you're building end-to-end -end product, there's a lot of things that are required. A lot of things are required. It's just like bringing several pieces together and combining it and launching it. So that's kind of things. Right now, it's not happening.